Alright guys, so if you remember my last video, I tried, uh, well I made one of those survival crayfish spears, as you can see. So I made another one because I left it at the, at the spot. So, I'm going to have my simulated crayfish area that I uh, crawled a crayfish out of the river and put it back in here way earlier. You know, back when my cameraman didn't want to record. But, funny story though, if you look over there, that's my shoe. I was trying to record earlier. I fell in the water. Oh. So, I lost the crayfish. So we're just going to have to use my little simulation here. So pretty much what you do is that you'd slowly lift up the rocks to find them. You got to slowly lift them up. That way you don't get the mud everywhere. And there's no mud here, but in the river there is. Ah, there he is. Ooh, you're scaring me. I'm gonna take my spear. Ooh. Honestly, this is a lot harder than I thought it'd be. And there we go, I finally got him. After much moment and much stupidity, I finally got him. But uh, honestly, I don't really like crayfish spears. I'm not good at them at all. They're good for when you're trying to get a crayfish in deeper water that you can't reach with your hand. But I'm a lot better at them catching them with my hand. Give them a fair game pinch. Come on, buddy. Fair game pinch. No? Whatever. So the catch them with your hand, which is a lot easier, you gotta sneak up on them, lift up the rock, and you just quickly grab them. There we go. Be ow, ow. <laughs> the best place to grab them is right between here, so he can't pinch you. But I grabbed him by the tail, but I don't mind getting pinched that much. If he would let go. Ow. Ah. And, uh, yeah, you can throw them in the stew pot. But obviously I'm going to let them go because, you know, I don't, ha I don't have a lot of them. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much how you catch a crayfish. But, as a bonus, because of how boring this episode was, I'm also going to show you how to cha change your uh, your bandana, if I remember where I put it, into a hand sling. This one's a lot easier to n not mess up. So what you do is you take your bandana, you fold it like you would as if you're joining a gang, you know, triangle shape, fold it in half, you know, fold it in half again, as many times as you want pretty much. We get thin enough, like this. Take your first finger, you wrap it around. Now you don't lose your bandana. Take your second finger, or your thumb, hold it like this. Now it makes a little pouch. Take your, your rock, place it in your pouch. And you have it like this. Now you can whip it overhand, because honestly underhand is really difficult. You gotta let go at just the right time to where you want to go. And there it is, a hand sling. That can be used for hunting squirrels, I guess, if, if you're good enough. It's better than nothing. I mean, let's say if someone's messing with you and you, and you want to show them off, you know, just, just give them a good rock to the head. You know, that always works. You know, how in the, the Jewish Bible with uh, Goliath. I don't know if that's copyright. 
is the Jewish Bible copyrighted? Uh, it's not copyrighted. So, you know, in the Jewish Bible, the, uh, some Hindu guy, or <laughs> uh, some, some Jewish guy decided to throw a stone using a hand sling at the Goliath monster guy who was trying to take over his town, and it hit him in the head and he died. So, you know, that's pretty much how it works. I guess he was like a bodybuilder or something like that. So, the, the Goliath was. The, the little Jew, Jew kid wasn't. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, how you do it. Another to your uh, thing is if you wrap it around your hand, it makes a good uh, punching cloth. There's people over there. <laughs> and you can pretty much punch without, you know, hurting yourself. You know? No damage done. Peace, bros.